Welcome to Dairyland, where our approach out here is preservation as opposed to renovation. We've taken an old dairy farm that's been a prominent part of the Snohomish Valley, and we've actually, our project out here has been to preserve its character and its quality so that people coming out here can get a sense of the history of dairy farming in the Snohomish Valley. Part of it is the 4,000 square foot barn that's actually an old calving barn. And in it, we've actually taken time to salvage light fixtures and retain as much of the character of the facility and the barn itself. The mantles actually on the bar and on the fireplace were actually wood that we pulled out of certain parts of the farm so that we could actually salvage them and restore them. We have a fire pit out here. The venue is designed as an outdoor venue because in the summertime, Northwesterners really don't want to have to stay inside of a building and so they want to be able to come out and enjoy the outdoor space. So we've got a fire pit out here, places for seating and games, place where the vendors can actually hook up and prepare food right here on site. A cow pad, it's also known as a stock animal flood sanctuary, which is the technical term. But when you're out on a dairy farm and the valley ends up flooding, which is what allows it to be pretty fertile, cows need a place to be able to get up out of the flood water. So our cow pad here has actually been repurposed into an outdoor ceremony site so that you can get the sweeping view of the entire Snohomish Farm Valley and include the cascades in the background. Our arbor is an antique metal arbor. It can be actually moved anywhere out here on the site. So if you want to do uh, a wedding that has the pond in the background or the Cascade Mountains, our couples can actually just reorient it in any way that they want. We also have the old detention pond which comes from the dairy farm operation that we've added the fountain to it so that we can keep it aerated and keep it um, as clean as possible. But the idea out here is to give everybody a vintage experience of being able to actually come out here, be in the midst of a farm, have some of the tranquility of it, but also um, some enhanced beauty to it so that it's uh, quite a lovely place. Our intention is to actually bring some modern sensibility to an older location like this and also be able to use it as a tool to educate the folks that come out here to the valley that may not be aware of the, the intense agricultural history and community that we have out here. So we have the older barn buildings out here that we are updating them, but ever so slightly so that you can get an appreciation for that history that is a part of this area. We've also employed a lot of sustainable building techniques out here. Again, we've used a lot of salvaged materials that we've gotten from other projects. A feature that we have at Dairyland is that we require all of our couples to recycle and compost so that we can actually take the food waste here, compost it on site, and actually use it out on the farm fields behind us. The grass area can be set up for the reception, for tables, but it can also be used for yard games so that you can come out here and also enjoy it with your friends and family. The breezeway between the calving barn and the old milking parlor has this great character where you can actually see the weathered paint that's been laid up on here on the walls. And again, we're leaving all of this on here so that you get the sense of all the way the history kind of played itself and overlaid itself. It's been really attractive for people to come out here because people do enjoy actually having photographs taken up against this wall. Our grand parlor is actually a part of the old milk processing that happened in this building. This is called the milking parlor, and so it's been repurposed into a changing room. We had a hole in the ground, and we decided the best thing to do with it was actually fill it and make it a fountain. This is the main restroom area. These restrooms were included or a part of the original milking operations as well. What we have are salvaged wood panels on the wall that we've taken. And the idea was to add some color and some contemporary life and attitude to an older space so that we could blend the modern world with something of our past and our history. You know, where are those glasses? Come on. <laughs> 
So this is actually a really big day for us because this is actually the opening of Dairyland to the rest of the world and we're doing it here at the Snohomish Wedding Tour this year and inviting people to actually see the Dairyland property for the first time in hopes that we can get ourselves a nice full schedule of happy couples out here in 2015. You're supposed to act like you like me sometimes. <laughs> I do sometimes. Sometimes, okay. All right. Okay.